Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE1082629 on PS5. Method 1. Turn off HDMI device link. On the home screen of your PS5 console, select the settings icon. Navigate to system. Go to HDMI. Find the Enable HDMI Device Link option and turn off the toggle to disable the feature. Method 2. Disable Rest Mode. Go to Settings. Go to System. Go to Power Saving. Go to Set Time until PS5 enters Rest Mode. Select Don't Put in Rest Mode to disable Rest Mode. Method 3. Update PS5 system software. Select settings from the home screen. Navigate to system. Go to system software. Go to system software update and settings. Select update system software. This option will prompt your system to check for the latest firmware version. If you do not have the latest version, it will be downloaded to your system. Next, go to console information. Here, you will see the system software version that the PS5 is using. Next, visit this PlayStation page and see if the system software version on your PS5 matches the latest version here. If not, it means you need to update your system in safe mode. Because before that you were not able to update it in normal mode. You need go to safe mode. You have first to turn off your console by holding the power button for 3 seconds. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep. One beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Now, connect the controller with the USB cable. Now, press the PS button on the controller. On the safe mode screen, go to update system software option. After that go to update using internet and follow the instructions. You can also use update from USB drive if still unable to update PS5 system software to the latest version. Method 4. Rebuild database. One more time, go to safe mode. Here, go to clear cache and rebuild database. Select rebuild database. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix all problems. Finally, if the problem persists, then try using the wired network via an ethernet cable or change the router's waveband to 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz frequency. If your router supports two parallel bands, and factory reset PS5 before contact PlayStation support for help. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.